The fantastic leap is due to arrive in just a moment. New crew members, please ensure that you are prepared. Human, you seem to be missing the requisite smart gloves. The smart gloves will allow you to remain unaffected by the fantastic leap's time warping abilities. Don't worry, we'll get back to that. If you have received this message, congratulations! You are now officially part of the Fantastic Leaps crew. We look forward to working with you on our beautiful crowdfunded spaceship. You have been recruited to accompany us on the way to our first destination, uh, Terra Prime, and will be working alongside a talented robot crew while you assist me, the captain, personally. Please note that your employment does not mean that you are privileged to a premium backer status on this crowdfunded vessel. The Fantastic Leap has arrived. New crew members, when you're ready, please use the hand scanner to board the ship. Welcome aboard the Fantastic Leap Shuttle, human! I'm the captain! It's good to meet you! Guys, this is my new human assistant! These are basic obedient bots, or bobs for short. Bobs work in pairs and are always at my beck and call. They're not all named Bob, though. That would be confusing. This Bob is Dave, and that Bob is Randy. I suppose you would like to know what your first task is. Well, uh, we need someone with five fingers to wear those smart gloves and activate the hyperdrive. It's the only thing on this ship designed with a bit of a flaw. Ah, the Fantastic Leap. You'd never think that all of this was built hastily into a crowdfunded budget. It really is impressive. <clears throat> Captain? That's Victoria, by the way, the ship's computer. One of the biggest expenses, so we had to cut a few corners elsewhere. Not me, though. I was assembled from the highest quality parts crowdfunding can buy. Victoria has an exquisite skill. She can manipulate time using the ship's warp core. Go on, Victoria. Show the human what you can do. Human, I am about to slow down time. Because you're wearing the smart gloves that are linked to my system, you'll be able to move around in real time while this occurs. Three, two, one. Go on, human. You can move around and grab things. You're doing great, human. By the way, don't tell the captain. But this ability of mine has been developed mainly to keep him safe. He tends to get himself into trouble. Let's speed time up again, shall we? My human assistant is unfazed by the time warping? Incredible! I wonder if that'll come in handy sometimes. Captain, now that we're all done introducing ourselves to the human, maybe you should start making your way to the bridge. Victoria's right. We should head to the bridge. But first, I want to show you around. Let's see how the party preparations are going. We promised the premium backers aboard this ship a grand party once we got to Terra Prime. Are you ready, human? When you are, just go and select the welcome hall from the shuttle navigation hologram over there. And let's get going. Ah, here we are, human. The Premium Backers Welcome Hall. All Premium Backers get defrosted and gather here before they're assigned to their luxury cabins. Victoria, what's happening? Captain, I'm detecting a massive solar flare emitting from that star. The solar flare seems to have had an undesirable effect on the robot crew. My robot crew? No, this doesn't look good. Time stalling in three, two, 
one. Human, this ship has the ability to manipulate time using the warp core, which I have just activated. Time will be slowed down for a short duration. Please ensure that the captain is saved within this time. I fear we need him. Good luck. That looks like it might have worked, human. Skip to the end of time stall by pressing the fast forward button on your wrist.